Next, we will plot contours of the velocity magnitude. And to do that, um, click on the contours icon up here. And I will give it an appropriate name. I will call it velocity magnitude. And I'll click on OK. And then I will enter details of velocity magnitude. First, I'll tell it over what, you know, where I want it to plot the velocity magnitude. So if I come here and select periodic one, it'll plot velocity magnitude over the domain, the, the flow domain. And for variable, I will select velocity, which will give me the velocity magnitude. And I will click apply. Okay. That gives me contours of the velocity magnitude, but you can see it's still plotting the velocity vectors. So I will go to the uh, tree view here where I can turn on and off entities in the graphics window. So I will turn off velocity vectors. Okay. And let me zoom out. So here it looks like near the outlet, you know, there's no variation in the axial direction and you have fully developed flow. Let me zoom out and then look at the um, flow near the inlet. And so I'm zooming uh, out using the Z uh, by, by typing on Z. And I'm zooming in using the right mouse button. And I can translate using this icon here, by clicking on this icon. And then um, I can translate the model using the, by holding down the mouse button. And let me get a uh, more contours, so I'll get a smoother plot, a uh, smoother contour. So I'll go down here under details of velocity magnitude, and I will increase the number of contours to 51. And I will click apply. So you see I get a smoother, um, smoother contours, and here the flow velocity is one, which is close, you know, which is uh, the average velocity. And then the flow near the wall is, is slow because of the no slip condition. And then as one moves down, one can see that the flow speeds up away from the wall because of flow development. And then around here, you can see there's not much variation in the axial direction, which, which indicates that the flow is probably pretty close to fully developed, if not fully developed, um, in this region. Now, one has a long skinny pipe, and I will zoom out using the middle mouse wheel, uh, and I'll also translate it. So here I'm using the middle mouse wheel. And so to visualize the entire domains for this long skinny pipe, I can stretch out the pipe in the radial direction, in the view. And to do that, I will go under View, and I will um, click on, I will select Apply Scale, and I will scale it by a factor of 10 in the radial direction. I'll stretch it by a factor of 10 in the radial direction. And so that gives me uh, a better view, and I can click on Z to fit the entire um, domain in the graphics window, and I can zoom out using the middle mouse wheel. And this thing here is the wireframe, this black line, which is not being stretched, right? So let me turn that off by going here and clicking there. And in order to visualize this better, I can also reflect this about the axis, uh, and that'll look like a cross-section through the pipe. So in order to do that, go back to Details of Velocity Magnitude, View, and select Apply, 
reflection mirroring and we want to mirror it about the zx plane which is the plane normal to the screen so i will select zx apply and so that gives me the entire domain stretched by a factor of 10 in the radial direction and reflected about the axis and here you can see that there is a short um, flow, flow development region um, and then you, the flow becomes fully developed.